Coming up at 10, a tropical storm warning is now in effect in San Diego County. High winds and heavy rain from Hillary could cause power outages. It is California's first ever tropical storm warning upgraded tonight from a tropical storm watch, but some San Diegans are in denial. We hear from them as Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis shows us why they should be listening. And as Hillary nears, how waterfront businesses are getting ready. The 10 o'clock news starts now. Live from the award-winning stations of KF FMB, you're watching the CW San Diego. The 10 o'clock news starts right now. We begin tonight with a historic storm heading our way. We are now under a tropical storm warning. The National Hurricane Center upgraded the tropical storm watch a little after 8 o'clock tonight. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan. The upgrade to a tropical storm warning means we will see tropical storm force winds within the next 36 hours. Right now, Hillary is a Category 4 hurricane south of Baja, California, where people are already feeling it. We have team coverage tonight from all across San Diego County. Our our Steve Fiorina is live in Mission Bay with how waterfront businesses are getting ready. Rocio de la Fe is live in Santee showing you what to do if the power goes out. And CBS 8's Anna Laurel is live on Coronado tonight with the disbelief and denial from some San Diegans. We start with CBS 8 Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis with everything we know right now. Carlene? Yeah, that latest update did come in and so we were talking about a watch, the first ever being issued for Southern California, but now it's a warning. So let's go ahead and take a look at the latest when it does come to Hillary. It is still a major hurricane the size of Texas. You're talking about a Category 4 hurricane that's just towards the southern tip of Baja, California, over about 280 miles. Um, that's just towards the southwest, and you're talking about maximum sustained wind speeds at about 130 miles per hour. So those wind speeds have come down from earlier today when we had it up to about 145 miles per hour. So it is starting to show signs of weakening. It's moving towards the north-northwest at about 13 miles per hour. It looks to be just towards the uh, west of Baja, California as a Category 1 hurricane before making its impact here for us in Southern California, especially for San Diego County, and that would be uh, a little bit after 5 p.m. as a tropical storm. But the catch is a lot of the wind and rain is going to come well ahead of that center of circulation moving over us. So we'll go ahead and break down what we're expecting for each region coming up in your complete forecast and a lot of people are talking about Hurricane Hillary online, but it seems like a lot of people really don't think something's going to happen. CBS 8's Anna Laurel spent the day talking to people along the beach and she is now live near Hotel Del Coronado. And here's something else. Anna, you covered a lot of hurricanes in your career. Is San Diego getting ready like other places uh, when it comes to hurricanes? Carlene, you've covered a lot of hurricanes. You might <laughs> yes. be surprised at what I saw today. No, people are not getting ready. The Hotel Dell behind me, none of the windows are boarded up. And you know, that is something that typically people do that are getting ready to uh, have a hurricane or tropical storm head their way. I did speak with the mayor of Coronado tonight. He says that the city went ahead and cleared out the storm drains to be ready for all the extra water. And they gave out all the sandbags that they have. But for the average citizen that I spoke with tonight, they act like nothing thing is about to happen. All along Ocean Boulevard on Coronado Island, the windows of the beautiful multi-million dollar homes reflect a perfect California sunset. Patio furniture still sits outside. It does not look like a hurricane the size of the state of Texas is barreling just hours south of here. Does it look like we're getting ready for a hurricane here? No. Lizette Vasquez is in town on vacation from Houston. She's seen her share of hurricanes and tropical storms. They start boarding things up. They start closing things. Any, like they start, you know, getting everything together. <laughs> What's this look like? <laughs> like nothing's gonna happen. They're, they're not prepared. What are you doing to get ready for this hurricane? Uh, <laughs> you're looking at it. Like everyone we saw tonight, Chad James was enjoying a beautiful Friday night at the beach. Oh. He runs the PB surf shop. 
He says the storm that hit in January and flooded the Mission Beach boardwalk did not hurt his shop. So he feels like it should be safe this weekend, or at least he hopes it will be. Uh, starting uh, January 1st here, it's been completely weird. So I guess we just expect anything to happen. I just think we're not used to it. You know, when you, when someone says, you know, a tropical storm or a hurricane's coming, I don't think they're used to it. I think Walden Keys is a lifelong Mission Beach resident and business owner here. Where I haven't seen one window here on the oceanfront anywhere here in Mission Beach or Pacific Beach that's been boarded. He did see a couple people bag some sandbags. Not sure if a couple will help. The reaction all over the boardwalk is the same. Is it really going to hit? We don't believe we don't believe it's going to hit. A little San Diego denial. You see that happen with a lot of other hurricanes at different times, right? People weren't really prepared and they didn't take it very serious and look what happened. So I think no matter what, you never know. Mother Nature is unpredictable. Mother Nature is unpredictable. Look, I've covered about a dozen hurricanes and tropical storms, and there are those that are predicted to be major, massive, monster that don't pan out that way, okay? But there are others that are just predicted to be average, let's say, and it turns into something that uh, major rain, major flooding that will change people's lives negatively. So that's why, as journalists, we continue to beat the drum and make sure that you at home are ready and are safe. Right now, Let's go to Rocio de la Fe. She's live in Santee for us. She's got some helpful tips with what to do in case your power goes out. Rocio? Well, Anna, you know, some people you spoke to say they're still in denial, but others I spoke to today say they'd rather be safe than sorry when it comes to the store. I spoke to people who made these last minute trips to grocery stores, hardware stores, as well as gas stations. I haven't seen uh, anything like this in my entire life. San Diegans are filling up stores across the county as Hurricane Hillary inches closer to Southern California. It's mayhem. There's lines. People are lined up halfway down the aisles. Just yesterday, stacks of water bottles lined the outside of the spots in Claremont. Today, we watched as workers brought out dozens of new cases. As everybody thinks it's COVID all over again, 2.0. Over in Miramar, at Harbor Freight Tools, staff say they've been selling more generators, tarps, and sand than ever. I noticed on the shelves, most of the tarps are gone. Jim Hogan says he bought this tarp to help cover a friend's roof. He first came to the hardware store yesterday and found the shelves full. But today, he says there were only two tarps left. He thinks the storm won't be too bad, but believes people should take the necessary steps to protect their homes. You have some weatherproofing around your house. Whatever you think is uh, susceptible to damage, you know, take precautions in that area. And in the case you need to power up your generator, make sure to use a carbon monoxide detector inside your home. Generator exhaust contains carbon monoxide, which can be deadly. Never operate a generator indoors because that could lead to a buildup of carbon monoxide. Make sure to place generators at least 20 feet from all windows and doors. Now, it, one thing to keep in mind this weekend is that if you still haven't gone out to purchase essential items for the storm, the stores are likely to be a little more chaotic than usual. So that's one thing to keep in mind. You still have tomorrow to get out and be able to buy essential items. Now let's go to Steve Fiorina, who's live in Mission Bay with the latest on how businesses are preparing. One business you might be thinking of is SeaWorld. For instance, they say that uh, the uh, safety of its animals, its guests, its employees is top priority. They have comprehensive weather and emergency plans in place, and they are carefully watching the progress of the storm. As of right now, SeaWorld plans to be open. That's generally the plan along Mission Boulevard in Old Mission Beach. Bars and shops have been through storms and flooding time and again. Take a look at the fierce winds and driving rain of years past. The streets underwater and many stores and other businesses. Sandbags help, but not totally. Palm trees blowing and swaying. It's an event. Dick Kowalczyk is the owner of the pennant. He's not moving. We're going to stay open. You know, I've, I've worked on tuna boats for 10 years, and we know when a big storm, you run away from it at an angle. The impending storm doesn't worry him so much being on land as compared to being out on the ocean. His bartender's on the same page. We're not too worried. We're going to stay open and 
probably have a good time. Down the street, Mission Market plans to do business as well. We're going to stay open. We're going to put sandbags. And yeah, we're going to deal with it. It's business. We can't close. We're a grocery store. We're essential. We have all the, all the survival foods. We'll put the sandbags up front there, and then we'll see once the day hits. And we'll, we'll pretty much go from there. The Beach Homes Realty Office closed today with a nice set of loaded sandbags guarding the front door. And a homeowner around the corner covered up some flowers and plants to protect them. This is likely to be a weekend to remember for anyone and everyone in the path of Hillary. I'm going to definitely face it. All right, it's going down to a tropical storm once it hits land. So, you know, check it out, check out the rain, see the vibes. And those vibes could be pretty heavy. Let's hope we all manage to stay safe. All right, Steve, have you learned about any other places besides businesses and their plans for the weekend? Well, as a matter of fact, San Diego State has announced that on Monday it's going to be virtual learning. They want to make sure that everyone there is safe and uh, able to attend classes then in person on Tuesday. Better Steve to be Fiorina, prepared. CBS 8. Thanks, Steve. Now, sandbags could be essential this weekend to keep your property safe from flooding. Right now, the county and CAL FIRE are offering free sandbags for people living in unincorporated areas. These are available at many fire stations, including the ones in Benita, Fallbrook, and Ramona. Here's a look at the list of locations handing out sandbags. You're asked to bring your own shovel to fill those bags with sand, and a warning, some locations are only offering the bag to you, so then you'll have to go somewhere else to fill it up with sand or dirt. They are also offering sandbags within the city of San Diego limits. We have a full list of locations on our help button at CBS8.com. Tonight, Amtrak says Pacific Surfliner trains 761 and 794 between San Diego and Los Angeles will be canceled tomorrow night through Monday morning because of the storm. Amtrak says the cancellations uh, are in effect, these ones, and more are possible, so continue to keep track of those schedules if you're planning to use Amtrak. Workers at San Diego International Airport are tying down equipment on the airfield and at the construction site for Terminal 1. Airlines are starting to cancel flights too. If you've got a flight this weekend and into Monday, keep an eye on delays and cancellations and get in touch with your airline. It's highly likely something will happen. It's always scary driving in the rain and the county wants to remind people to drive safely and be ready for any flooding. Here are some things to keep in mind. Some of them may be uh, common sense, but some of them may not. Turn on your headlights even when it's light outside to see better and make it easier for other drivers to see you. That's the law. Also, try to drive toward the middle lanes as water tends to gather on the outside of the lanes and avoid driving through deep water because it can affect your brakes. If you can't avoid it, test your brakes afterward to make sure they've dried out and they're working like they should. Be sure to download our free CBS 8 app to keep up with the latest forecast and weather alerts. That's how I find out that uh, we were upgraded from a watch to a warning. We pushed an alert out. It has the up to minute forecasts and new information as soon as you need to know about them ahead of our stormy weekend. Coming up after the break, how the city of San Diego plans to keep people who are experiencing homelessness safe ahead of the storm. And in our next half hour, recovery efforts continue in Maui. We hear from a community on the rebuilding of fire ravaged Lahaina. Thank you.